In today's video, we are going to talk about a breed that is bizarrely dog-like, and amazingly enough, can be described as the golden retriever of the cat world. The Cornish Rex Cat Cornwall is a sort of magical corner of Great Britain. It was the birthplace of King Arthur, and it was the birthplace of one of the most unusual and interesting cat breeds in existence, the curly-coated Cornish Rex. A curly-coated kitten was born in 1950 to a short-haired tortoise shell and white pet cat named Serena, who belonged to Nina Ennis Moore and Winifred McAllister. The other four kittens in the litter had short hair, so Calabunker, as he was named, stood out for his odd coat, the result of a spontaneous natural mutation. As is so often the case, the father of the litter was unidentified, although he was suspected to be Ginger, a short-haired red tabby who was Serena's litter brother. After obtaining advice on how to establish the new trait, Ennis Moore attempted to produce more of the kittens, breeding them to each other and outcrossing to short-haired cats, which came to be called the Cornish Rex which is named after its birthplace, and its coat type that is similar in texture to that of Rex rabbits. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. The Cornish Rex typically weighs 6 to 10 pounds. With his crushed velvet coat, slender body and curly whiskers, the Cornish Rex is a dandy of a cat. In addition to his soft yet wavy fur and curvy body, he is widely distinguished by a small, egg-shaped head, about one-third longer than it is wide. His facial features include a rounded forehead, the high cheekbones of a supermodel, a Roman nose with a high, prominent bridge, and oval eyes that slant slightly upward. Sitting high on the head are large ears that look as if they could pull in satellite signals. The distinctive body, a gift from the Cornish Rex's Siamese ancestors, is made up of graceful arches and curves. It consists of a long, slender torso, a deep chest, a naturally arched back, and a belly that curves gently upward to form a small waistline. Muscular hips, thighs and rear end propel the Cornish Rex's great leaps. Supporting him when he lands are long, slender legs and dainty, slightly oval paws. A long, flexible tail tapers toward the end. His curvy, slender body might make the medium-sized Cornish Rex seem delicate, but he is surprisingly heavy when picked up. If it weren't insulting, it might be fair to describe the Cornish Rex as dog-like. That includes his willingness to retrieve toys that are thrown. He has the speed of a sighthound but does not share the sighthound's laid-back temperament. The Cornish Rex is highly active, always on the move. His speed and sleek exterior are reminiscent of a finely tuned race car, complete with quick starts and cornering ability. Although he is affectionate and gentle, he is not the choice for someone who wants a quiet, ornamental cat. His voice ranges from sweet to strident, and although he is not as talkative as his ancestor the Siamese, he will indeed carry on a conversation if he feels the need to express his opinion. The active and social Cornish Rex is a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. He will play fetch as well as any retriever, learns tricks easily and loves the attention he receives from children who treat him politely and with respect. Introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button as it greatly helps out the channel. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on for more videos like this. Thank you for watching.